Hey everyone, this is Scotty Wick, uh, designer of Stranger Things Pinball, and I wanted to go ahead and walk you through uh, the play and the play field and what you need to do to find your way to the Demogorgon and hopefully kill him with Eleven's help, of course. But um, so what we're looking at here, I'm just going to do this from a flat image uh, because it's easier and it doesn't just ruin my processor. Plus, uh, my cabinet's at home and I'm not necessarily sure how to uh, record that. But uh, so what you're going to do here is off the, well, let's just start from an overall. There are four main modes slash multi balls involved here uh, with the kill the Demogorgon or kill the monster uh, being the wizard mode where you need to complete the other three to be able to attempt that. Now the first one we have here on the left is going to be uh, Barb. So where's Barb? Uh, and so to, to uh, play where's Barb, you need to knock down the four where's Barb uh, targets here. Um, so you can see those, these four where's Barb targets. Uh, when you do that, it's going to light Barb. And then there's the lock is going to be available back here. So you'll shoot up this way, or you can shoot this way, or you can shoot around the left. Barb lights are yellow. Uh, Barb's locks are going to be yellow as well. So that'll tell you how to get there. Um, if you hit into there, you'll lock the ball. Uh, two locks will start the multi-ball. Um, and so that'll help you uh, kind of get to that one. From the Barb multi-ball, you'll be hitting both the Nancy and Steve uh, to try to find Barb. They're the two that are going to be out looking for Barb. So you hit either of those to get your jackpots. Uh, once you get six or five jackpots, you will enable the super jackpot, which you'll need to hit it back into the lock hole uh, to get your super jackpot. From that point, you'll get the light lit here on the table for the Where's Barb, showing that you've completed it. Uh, and it's going to cycle back uh, and let you start over that jackpot system so you can go back through it as many times as you want. Uh, if you hold, at any time if you hold left flipper, uh, that will bring up the instant info and it'll tell you how many barb uh, jackpots. So it does not reset. So whenever you, uh, let's say you get four of them and you fail and you're able to light and get back into where's Bob, barb, uh, you'll leave off where you were at. So you can go ahead and get your uh, next jackpot and then your super will be available you can hit that and again that will go ahead and give you a mode complete so it's going to be that way for any of these multi balls uh, you will be able to pick up where you left off on the next time you start it uh, so that's uh, that'll make it at least a little easier to try to get through them all right so the next one uh, that we have here is uh, Oh, did I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the next one is going to be Run. Uh, and so that's over here with the Hawkins electric truck. Um, <clears throat> cool thing on this is off the skill shot, uh, these three are going to be lit. If you're able to hit that, hit one of the compasses over here on the drop targets, it will go ahead and uh, drop all the targets and award a lock. And the lock is going to be up the Steve lane here, the Steve orbit. Uh, it actually locks out here in the back. But... Um, so what you do, if you don't hit the skill shot, then you knock those targets down, lock it in the Steve, and then uh, again, if you get uh, two locks, then your multi-ball will start. It's a three-ball multi-ball, just like Barb is also a three-ball. And on Steve, you're trying to hit the ramps. So if you can hit either of these ramps uh, five times, then again, you will open up the super jackpot, which is going to be up the Steve. Uh, ramp and on uh, run you're trying to escape the bad men so the whole uh, scenes and the and the plays that are going to go on there is going to be uh, you and the kids trying to escape the bad men who are they're chasing them down on the Hawkins truck so uh, with a pretty epic finish on that one so you're going to want to get to that super jackpot so the super jackpot's there again it's going to lap you can do it as many times as you want <clears throat> the next one is save will and save will is probably my uh, my, my favorite one personally, but uh, you hit the sensory deprivation tank chambers here. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to open this back portal, uh, just like in the show. Uh, it's 11 being in those chambers that, that cracks the wall and, and heads it open. So each time you hit one of those sensory deprivation targets, it will drop down uh, and it'll play a cool scene along with it. 
If you can get all of those down, then this will light. Your lights here light. And if you hit it into the portal in the back, it's going to drop into the upside down here where you've got the scary ass Demogorgon uh, in there staring at you with his uh, weird mouth thing. But um, on these drop targets, they do reset every ball. So whenever you get that portal open on a ball, it should definitely be your focus. Uh, I, well, I mean, you can make your own strategy, but it should be your focus to get into the portal. So once you get into the, the upside down here, this is going to be your, your flippers are inverted. So definitely test those out or smash both of them the first few times. Uh, so when you hit left, it's going to flip the right. When you hit right, it's going to flip the left. Um, <clears throat> obviously it makes sense. You're in the upside down. Stuff is upside down. Uh, and there are targets behind under here. So when you're hitting these, you have to hit each of them twice to spell escape. Now, uh, once escape is lit, then you can hit it into the center here. Uh, it's not the easiest shot intentionally, um, but if you get it out on the front of the flipper, you can knock it right in there. And that's going to then kick the ball out up here, the escape out, and that's going to start your will multi-ball. And so if once you start the will multi-ball, these three targets, which would be down at that point because you had just gone into the portal, will pop back up. You need to knock all three of them down, and then hit it into the portal again to go ahead and get your super jackpot. So uh, it's a four shot to the super jackpot, three three jackpots, and they're worth more points than the regular jackpots, and then portal for your super. Uh, okay, so, so there are orbits. Before we go into the wizard mode, there are other things, uh, orbits and rewards. We've got the kids down here at the bottom. If you light all five of these lane lights, uh, which they move left and right based on your flipper heads, uh, then you're going to get your ball save reactivated for 15 seconds. So you might wait and try to cue those up for when you're ready, um, or you're going to take some shots up here and you're afraid that it might drain. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and try to fill up your lane lights by shooting your ramps, uh, and then you can go, calm, you know, without being scared, you can smash right up at the, uh, at the upside down. Um, so you got those rewards. You've got orbit rewards. So out here on this outer orbit, um, you can get rewards for every 15 orbit hits, and it's going to count those up and show you. You can also see that in instant info. And those are point-based rewards. You've got Steve and Nancy rewards. Uh, again, those are going to be orbit rewards that are point-based, uh, and it's going to show you your progress on those every 15. Uh, each ramp here, is going to uh, have an extra ball on it. So that's what you can see the extra ball light here and there's an extra ball light up here. Uh, you light those extra ball lights by getting shots on the ramp. So if you can get 10 on either of them, they're separate, but if you get 10 on either of them, you'll light the extra ball light. You can get that. Uh, the bumper, the egos up here, uh, so those are for collecting egos. So each time you hit them, it'll collect an ego and it'll show you on your DMD. Uh, at every 25, you can get uh, you can get super egos, double super ego, egos, and ultra egos, uh, and those are going to count as you play uh, with pretty substantial points on uh, ultra egos, and that's going to be at 100 egos collected. Um, all right, so that takes us through all of those rewards. And the last is the Demogorgon, the Kill the Monster. Once you light all three of these lights, the second you do, um, it will turn on. Uh, well, actually, it's after your multi ball. So say you're about to finish Will and you've already got the, you've already got it done. When your last ball drains on Will, then it'll check to see those lights. If those lights are lit, it's going to start the Demogorgon mode and, and uh I won't, I won't take all the, the fun away from that so you guys can figure out what it is, but I will say that it starts, the play field will change and it starts by hitting Elle's hand. Uh, so she's going to grab the ball and chuck it at the Demogorgon for you. So that's how you start the Demogorgon mode. Uh, and from there, you, you got to beat him. So um, get there and figure it out for yourself. Um, I will say that beating the Demogorgon uh, is a huge reward. So if you can get there, you're going to be able to post a pretty sweet score. I have only been able to do it by running testing modes. 
Um, so I haven't gotten there personally, uh, but I think uh, with a little bit of time here, I'll be able to do it myself, uh, hopefully. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys like the table. Again, this is version 1.0. I'll continue to work on it. Um, but uh, just kind of getting my feet wet here on the uh, visual pinball coding. Uh, and I thought it'd be good to walk you guys through it so you know what to, what to do. Uh, please post your high scores and, and, and anything that you have. I'd love to hear uh, how you guys are liking it, how it's playing for you, how it plays on your cab. I'll be playing mine on my cab. So, um, And I've done quite a bit of testing, and I like it. If it plays really smooth, the Ultra DMD, uh, JP, Salas helped me write fresh script for that so it does not kill your frame rate. Uh, mine usually gets killed by tables that have Ultra DMD. The frame rate goes to crap. Uh, we've worked really hard to make that not happen here, so hopefully you get that same experience. Um, anyways, thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you all enjoy the table, and I uh, look forward to seeing some high scores. All right, thanks. Bye.